Let's get ready to dive into three random patterns found on Ravelry in today's episode of Ravelry Roulette. Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Ravelry Roulette. I am excited to be here today and to dive into three random patterns found on Ravelry. Today we are going to do, as we did last week, we are going to do knitting and crochet because why not? Let's, uh... Let's do it all, okay? And then eventually we're gonna just do just crochet and then just knitting. Who's to say and who's to know who we may inspire by all of this? So I'm excited to dive into this. Now, a few days ago, I posted in the YouTube community tab um, a question calling out, well, it was just a call out, asking folks to leave comments before the below the post, excuse me, of some filter ideas for a future episode of Ravelry Roulette. I know I asked for this over in the comments of the previous video, um, and I'll be using that and I'll be using this, but for today's video, we're gonna be using the comments that were left below that community tab post and finding a random uh, option or filter option from those comments. And then we're gonna dive into Ravelry and get started and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are over on YouTube, and this is the post in the community tab where I asked for your guys' ideas on filter options, what I'm going to do is choose from these 17 comments at random for an idea that we can use to type into the filter box for our Ravelry search. So we're gonna go over here to the random number generator, one through 17, nine. We're gonna head back over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Geek or nerd themed from Christina Hayward, 1887. Geek or nerd themed. Um, so I could type in geek or I can type in nerd. Um, and I think we all understand that this is referring to just kind of like um, when you geek out on particular, I don't know, like niches or fandoms or whatever. That's kind of what we're referring to here where this isn't being used in a derogatory way. Um, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so geek or nerd themed. I get it. I see where we're going there. I could type in geek or I can type in nerd and we can see what comes up. Um, let's see, let's type in geek here into the search. We're gonna do this first and we're gonna open up the overall theme of geek. Now from here, I want to this time, I wonder if I wanted to, I don't know if I wanna do best match or if I wanna do random order. Let's do random order. I think we need to stick this, make it all random. And we're going to do both knitting and crochet. So we have geek in the search box, random order. We have 2,376 matches and we have 50 pages to choose from. This should be fun. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the random number generator and we're gonna start by figuring out which page we're going to land on first. So this is uh, generate one through 50, page 28, oops, back this way. I'm gonna do, let's, I'm gonna close this out so I don't have so many things going on here. Down to page 28. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's there's 48 on each page. I, I do this every time. There's 48 um, results on each page. So now we're gonna go back over here, one through 48, generate four. Let's see what we got. We have one, Oh my gosh, I was so hoping it was gonna <laughs> land on this creepy doll situation going on here. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's going to be, what is that? I was really hoping it was going to land on this. Okay, this is an Amigurumi little sister. What does that mean? If you know what this means, please share. I'm gonna read, we're gonna find out, okay? What is happening here? What is that? Is that like, I wanna, I look at that and I think, is that like a gas pump? Is this blood? Okay, what is this thing? I don't know what that is. Is that like a surgical? Okay, let's keep reading. Um, this is a softy or a doll. I'm sorry, it's not that soft. It's worsted weight yarn. It's an amigurumi little character. I don't know how large that is in reference to other things. This doll is based on the little sisters from Bioshock 2. Completed doll stands approximately six inches tall. Pattern includes instructions for accompanying Adam Needle. What is this? Projects. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how creepy this one is. 
That's definitely blood. That is very creepy. Ew. Okay, but I want to know what the reference is. So is this a video game? I, I'm familiar with video games, but I'm not familiar with this necessarily. The name sounds familiar. Bioshock 2. Okay, it says Bioshock 2 is a first person shooter video game developed by... Okay, so this is a video game. I want the image. Yeah, okay. Bioshock 2 is definitely a video game and that must be like her weapon of sorts. This is... Okay. Um, I want to see what her... What she looks like. Bioshock 2 little sister. What are we working here with a reference? If this kind of thing creeps you out, definitely look away, okay? Because this is... Creepy stuff. Creepy deepy. Oh, here. Here we go. Little, like... Oh, yes. That's, like, some kind of, like, blood... Like, a needle of sorts. This is really creepy. It's no secret that I love this game series and when my sister wanted to wear her big daddy for... Okay, I don't even know what this is. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have a video game character, Amigurumi, little sister from Bioshock 2. All of you that are watching that are familiar with this game probably love this. I just don't get the reference. But it is definitely like a cutesy rendition of what is otherwise a very creepy character. Kind of badass in a way, but creepy. Interesting. Okay, there's our first one. Really just starting it off strong here, guys. All right, let's go back. Page one. Again, we have... Um, 50 pages, one through 50, 10, page 10, boop -a -doo. and then one through 48, mm, looking interesting. All right, one through 48, 14. Okay, so we have one, six, 12, really? This right here, there's no picture here, link gauntlets. Oh no! Okay, so Link Gauntlets, I'm ref I'm assuming, yeah, this is Link from Zelda. Okay, Legends of Zelda, Link is the main character from Legends of Zelda, a video game that goes way back. Okay, I love this video game. I've more recently started playing it, but this is for gauntlets um, that were like worn by the character Link. There are no photos here, but let's look at the projects. Oh, cute. Okay, so Link Gauntlets, I love that. So there's some fingerless mitts that call back to Legend of Zelda. How cute is that? Ooh, I like it. Oh, these ones are fun. Okay, so let's see if I can share with you a reference photo for those of you that aren't familiar. <laughs> okay, so Link Gauntlets. It depends on which game it's from. I mean, I bet you it's like old school. So let's do Link Legend of Zelda. Okay, let's just get his, let's get a picture from the game the best we can. But he does, he wears these gauntlets. That doesn't really show it all that much. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're not really getting that like, detail that they have here but I think this is just supposed to kind of emulate Link from Legend of Zelda and I think it's fun that's really cool um there must be a game one of the games what about Ocarina of Time maybe that's where hold on uh Legend of Z my nerd is really showing right now Legends of Z Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time never know how to spell it what does he got well okay so here's that symbol does he have the gauntlets on in this one I don't know. Hold on. Maybe here? I don't know. Okay. But this is what the reference is. So Legend of Zelda, Link Gauntlets. Super cool. Gotta love that. Let's go read some of the... Um, hold on, one more. Yeah, those are fun. Let's read some of the details here. Bulky weight. So this uses a bulky weight yarn. Link Legend of Zelda Gauntlets. Perfect for gamer geeks everywhere. It's a free pattern. And it was released in 2008. Yeah, probably pretty easy. Fun. Comments. Such an easy pattern. Great for the beginner like me. And they're really comfortable when they're done. I'm wearing mine right now. Next pair I make, I'll actually put the Triforce on the back. So that's what that's called, the Triforce. I'm in love with these. Cool. 
All right, so those are Lynx gauntlets. All right, here we go, moving on. Let's go back to the pattern page. Here we are. All right, so we have 50 pages. Page 10. Oops. All right, and we have 48 matches or 48. 36. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, here goes. It's a porg. This is a little um, kind of like a new uh, creature from the new Star Wars movies. This is a porg and that is absolutely adorable. This is a pattern from the Geeky Hooker. You know, I have not shared with you the names of the people who have written these patterns. So I they're highlighted on the page, you will see them there. But this is the porg by the Geeky Hooker. How adorable is that porg? I am not a huge fan of the newest Star Wars movies. I'm kind of a Star Wars purist. I think they're fine. They're entertaining. They're fun to watch with the family. I'm just not a big fan, but I do love the Porgs. I thought the Porgs were super cute. How stinking adorable is that? Now, um, my kids would love these. We have, there's a lady, um, a, a, she's become a friend of mine. She lives in my neighborhood and she crochets these sorts of things. She crochets all the little Emigurumi characters and she leaves them around our neighborhood. I think I may have mentioned this before, but she leaves them in our neighborhood for people to find with little happy messages. And she would totally make really cute porgs. She could make this like no problem. That is absolutely adorable. It's a free pattern. If you're into crochet Amigurumi, I love that. I don't mind if you sell finished products from the pattern as long as you credit back for the design, either by tagging me in your social media posts or linking back to the pattern directly. I love that. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. You can sell them. Just shout out to the person who designed it. Please do not sell or reproduce the pattern itself. Happy hooking. So cool. So she has a blog, The Geeky Hooker. She's Geeky Hooker on Instagram. It says, made a few revisions to the pattern. Pattern itself is still the same, just reworded a few things that will hopefully make it clearer. And then she has some other little notes in here as well. Those are adorable. 369 projects. Look at all the porgs. Oh my gosh, these porgs are out in the wild. <gasps> the porgs. So cute. I zoomed in and now I can't zoom out. What's going on? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's adorable loving these porgs oh my goodness so those are the porgs oh look at this one next to a little bb-8 a porg and a bb-8 not size accurate really but well the porgs were pretty small here let me show you what an actual porg from star wars looks like porg <laughs> you gotta be careful there we are that's a porg. well maybe they are about the size of bb-8 that's a porg. Look at how cute their eyes are. Those are like those um, safety eyes. Do you remember if you watched the last podcast, I made a granny square with safety eyes, but that's like what these eyes look like. So if you're making porgs, you could use the little safety eyes and they look just like that. How cute. I wonder what the porgs size is relative to BB-8. I didn't do the height, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, it's like this, right? This person created an illustration, that's about right. Okay, we're going down a whole different rabbit hole here. So those are the porgs. So that is our third project, the porg by the Geeky Hooker. Well, that is it, there you go guys. A quick little bit of Ravelry Roulette. We had three random patterns, only one of those was knit. We had two crochet. That first one was a little on the creepy side, but for those of you that are into Bioshock 2, I think things like that are just kind of fun callbacks to something that people can become really kind of um, captivated by, and I like that. I like video game callbacks. I'm sorry, what can I say? So I really appreciate that, despite how creepy it is. The same thing with the Zelda myths. I love me some Zelda, but I think the winner for me today were the cute little porgs. I would think that a cute porg, but larger, kind of like my emotional support chicken. Like if you took something like this, I talk about this on the last episode of the podcast, but make a porg that's like this size as like an emotional support porg. Come on, 
loving that. I hope you enjoyed that today, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for those of you that offered up suggestions. I'll be dipping into that and previous Ravelry roulette videos to pull out suggestions for future Ravelry roulettes, but they will all be guided by you. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys on Wednesday's episode of the Midweek Ramble. Bye.